Storm Tracker weather starts now with meteorologist Joey Bianconi. All right, welcome back everybody and happy Monday. It's a rainy and cloudy day out there this morning. We are in the 40s for our morning low. It is raining out there and we do have some snow around in the higher elevations. Light wind for uh, most of the day here in Helena. We could have a little bit stronger wind in Great Falls today. It's 43 and rainy there as well. So temperatures across the state. We have a little bit of a gradient today. We are pretty warm out east and we are pretty cold out west. We're in the 30s and 40s out in the western portion of the state and in the eastern portion of the state. We're up close to about the mid 50s for our morning lows, but back out west. We do have a lot of winter weather alerts just a few days before the first day of summer winter weather advisories for a lot of the higher terrain of southwestern Montana, including the Beartooth of Zorka's Big Belts, Little Belts, all the higher terrain around Helena and even a winter storm warning, which includes McDonald Pass in between Missoula and Helena. So we'll zoom into Helena here and take a look at our snow totals for the day. It's not going to be a heavy snow event, maybe one to four inches, but it's going to be a wet snow, so it could weigh down some branches, could see some isolated power outages, as well as some rough travel conditions down I-15 and McDonald Pass. You could see two to five inches out there with 14 inches possible in some of the higher peaks, one to four inches for anywhere in the winter weather advisory. So here's the current look at the radar. A lot going on this morning. Some pretty heavy showers near Great Falls, and we do have some snow in the higher terrain around Helena. So the Boulder and Elkhorns are seeing some of that lighter snow come through right now. Some rain up near Wolf Creek through um, I-15 up towards Great Falls out west where we do have this winter storm warning Phillipsburg. A lot of heavy snow falling in these mountains here and a little bit further north. Along the Rocky Mountain Front, Teton Pass to the west of Augusta, some pretty heavy snow falling as well. Great Falls, we are seeing some pretty consistent showers throughout the morning. We could see some heavier rain in the next coming hours. And even down into the Bear Toots, we have some snow showers going on as well. So here's a look at McDonald Pass. Not much snow falling now, but it is very foggy out there this morning. So make sure if you're traveling out there, be extra cautious on the roads today. Another place that could see some snow is Bozeman Pass. Again, just rain right now, but we could see snow later on tonight. So we do have a severe threat as well today for southeastern Montana, level two out of five risk for some large hail and damaging winds. Mile City and Glendive is in a one out of five risk where our hail risk is just a little bit lower today. So a lot going on that's in the state today and that will continue on throughout the next 24 hours as pretty heavy rainfall near Great Falls around noontime. Again, that snow still falling in the higher elevations around Helena at about 3.30 today. Our snow coverage starts to decrease, but still some pretty heavy rain for a lot of western Montana. Notice those thunderstorms that blast through eastern Montana later on this afternoon. A few of those could be on the strong to severe side, and then we have a few storms making their way out east Throughout the early morning hours tomorrow, we will have some thunderstorm activity in north central Montana tomorrow on the backside of this low with the remaining instability. Could have a few thunderstorms here, Helena and Great Falls as well. And a few isolated storms still remaining Wednesday morning. So how much snow are we looking at? Again, not too much. We're in this white color here, maybe an inch or two in the higher elevations could get up to eight inches of snow, but out where that winter storm warning is, Notice it doesn't really populate our uh, more powerful colors out there, but 14 inches of snow possible in those higher peaks. So low pressure system to our south today will bring a lot of moisture to the state, which is a good thing, but it will bring some pretty cold temperatures with it. We'll be in the 40s and 50s out west, but look at the temperatures out east. We're close to 70 degrees, if not hitting 70 degrees out in places like Baker. And tomorrow that low pressure makes its way on out of here. We will have some storms around but temperatures will start to warm and for the next seven days we will continue that warming trend up into the end of the work week where we're in the 80s here in Helena. Some storm chances remain throughout the rest of the work week, but our weekend is looking dry for the first week of summer when temperatures will be in the 80s and possibly even the 90s.